See, this is not mili Siemens, right? Or, or this is 0 0.224 something, is it right? Oh, yeah, 0 0.224 mili Siemens, okay. Instead of 1 mili Siemens, 0 0.224 mili Siemens. 224 mili Siemens. And then, what's my capacitor? Uh, uh, yeah, instead of one microfarad, I just put uh, this uh, uh, seven nine six uh, uh, nanofarad, something like that, right? Close to one nanofarad. Okay, then let's try simulate this thing. Okay, so do I have a? How come? Oh, where is my L twenty three? Uh, loading inductor, okay. So N12. Oh yeah, so you know, uh, this is, uh, yeah, this is a linear frequency. Magnitude is just omega L, right? Proportional to omega. Uh, let's look at, the, look at the phase. Phase of that one. Phase is here. Uh, let's uh, kill this magnitude. So phase is exactly plus 90 degrees, right? It is SL, right? SL. Good. Okay, any question? No question? Then we can implement uh, that, that one. Let's just see. Where is my uh, passive pro prototype? Oh yeah, here is my passive prototype. Oh yeah. Okay. Huh. Let's just see. a little bit. <coughs> okay, so uh, this uh, floating uh, floating uh, register, uh, th that one is implemented by those two transconductor. And then this uh, uh, C1P is just a C1. And then this floating inductor is implemented by uh, two gyrators, right? Yeah, I have one gyrator here, and then uh, the second gyrator there. So it, 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 uh, the direction of transconductor is like that, okay? And then this, this capacitor is there. And then this resistance is there. This is grounded resistance, right? So, so this should work as a third order uh, but was uh, low pass filter. Question. Hmm? No, no question. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's. Uh, try to uh, simulate this thing. I think you, you can find the netlist here. And then, yeah. Uh, so, all the impedance scaling was performed as mentioned. So let us see, where is my, mm, oh yeah, this is a GMC filter. So if you edit it, Oh, it's not very complex, right? Simple. Gyrator thing, floating inductor. Floating inductor consists of two gyrators. And then see, I have uh, uh, two transconductor for the uh, floating resistance. And the C1, this X5 is a floating inductor, C3 and GM3 for resistance, right? 
this, this GM3 is uh, zero out, zero out. So, you know, uh, current, of, this is a controlled branch. Current flows from zero to, zero to ground to out node. And then, yeah, this is uh, out is connected to minus input node, okay? Okay, let's simulate it. Grab. <coughs> yeah, it looks like uh, maximally flat, right? So you, you can see what's my bandwidth. Uh, yeah, DC gate is 0 0.5. Phase shift from 0 to minus 100 degrees and 360 degrees there. Okay, let's kill phase. And then see, uh, yeah, what's, uh, what's my, uh, what's my 3 dB frequency? 3 dB frequency is 0 0.35, right? 35 around 35 is, uh, where is my 0 0.35? Oh yeah, around there, eh? Yeah, around there. So, in this case, uh, oh, how come? My frequency is only 2.2 kilohertz. Uh-oh. This is a little bit weird, right? This, this is 0 0.5. Minus 3 dB frequency is uh, if I multiply uh, 0 0.707, uh, it's around uh, here, 3 point, 0 0.35. Yeah, around there. Oh, this is only 2 kilohertz, not 20 kilohertz. Oh, looks like I have some problem here. My inductor may not be correct. Huh? Mm. Yeah, looks like there is some mistake. Okay, any questions? Yeah, bandwidth is, uh, uh, I have some wrong uh, bandwidth. Yeah, any questions until now? No? Homeworks next uh, Tuesday. Huh? Also, next Tuesday, uh, we don't have a class, but still it's due on next Tuesday. Okay, so here, see, this is, uh, this is a uh, Lopez filter, right? I want to change into this passive prototype into band pass filter. Then this uh, uh, inductor is uh, uh, replaced by uh, this series connection. And capacitor is uh, replaced by uh, that parallel connection. Then I can make transform this low pass filter into band pass filter. Okay? So uh, for simplicity, we just eliminated this thing in this home, this is a zero, this is a zero, okay? Then I have to convert this thing like that, this thing like that. So, uh, uh, see, my bandwidth, uh, I mean, the magnitude response looks like that, right? So this is my center frequency, omega zero. I want to maintain cent, uh, this omega zero at the, at the one rad per second. Then see, if this is a two henny, it, this should be one half farad, right? If this is one farad, then this should be one henny, okay? Then, you know, this series resonance occurs at the omega zero. So it can, this is a short circuit at the omega zero. The gain is one. This gain is one. This is infinite. This in parallel connection, that impedance is infinite at the omega zero, okay? 
At the other frequency, this, this uh, impedance reduces, uh, this impedance increases, right? This is called the second order band pass filter. We have a four energy storage elements, right? Looks like a fourth order. But they call this as a second order band pass mm. filter. Yeah, so this is uh, 10 kilohertz this time. So I want to change my omega zero to 2 pi times uh, 10 kilohertz. Impedance scaling is the same as 1K. Okay? So you, you can find the GMC build. So in my previous version, I have some, some discrepancy in bandwidth. So you, have, you check this one in, in this homework. Question? Hmm? No? How come there's no question? <laughs> 